welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today. So today I'm back with a DIY. It feels like absolutely ages since I've sat at my craft table and done a little DIY with you. So I'm going to go back to basics and do that DIY, which you've already seen in my thumbnail. So I'm going to be making a little sort of lantern cage thing um, using jute string from Poundland. So this is the main ingredient to the DIY and that was one pound and you get 200 meters on there um, and I'm going to be using my hot glue gun, I'm going to be using some cardboard and some straws. Guys just before we start the Poundland DIY I just wanted to quickly show you this box that I've been kindly, very kindly sent over from Blissful Boxes. Firstly, can we just appreciate the packaging, how beautiful it is. It almost looks bridal, it's so nice. Um, so it, so basically, Blissful Boxes is a gifting company. Um, they have an Instagram page, they also have a website, which I will link all down below, and leave in my description. They very kindly offered you 10% off your first order if you use the code JW10. Uh, but I am dying to jump inside. So when you open the box up, this is what it looks like. All of the packaging is eco-friendly. Um, it is all hand-packed. It comes with this little card on top saying, we hope you love your blissful box. Dying to dive inside. When you dive inside, it is full of little gifts. Now, how that company works is you choose your box, you choose your packaging, you choose how much you want to spend and you choose which gifts go inside and then they pack them all up for you and then send them off to whoever you want them sent to. You might want to actually make a little box up for yourself or you might want to gift it to a, a loved one. Um, so this is the box that the guys have sent me over. I don't know what's inside. It comes with a little card on top saying positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. The first item I can see is a, a face mask from spacemasks.com and that is a 15 minute face mask. I'll just move some of this packaging out of the way. A little book from, it's called The Little Book of the Sloth Philosophy. That's such a mouthful. Um, and it says how to live your best life as a sloth. That's a little bit of bedtime reading for us. The next thing I can see is some wax melts from a company called Devon Wick. I can actually smell them through the packaging already. They smell absolutely lovely. And it's just a little bar of wax melts. Very nice. What else have we got? We've got some dark chocolate from Just Be Loved Dark Chocolate. And that is scattered with aromatic rose petals that'll be absolutely lovely i'll try that tonight we've got some prosecco jellies from ask mummy and daddy very nice the next thing i can see is some hand moisturizer and that's from neve's bees in the scent of rosy smells absolutely divine and the last thing we have here is a little bath bomb called Chill Out Bath Bomb. Confession time, I've never ever tried a bath bomb, so I will be trying that one. Um, so yeah, so that's all my little gifts in the box. So if you would like to go and check out this company, like I say, I will link everything down below. Um, it's definitely well worth checking them out. And it's just nice to give somebody like a hand chosen gift uh, that's been hand hand packed and you choose all the items. It means they're not getting items that you don't really want to have. You get to choose everything that goes into the box. So now I'm going to get straight on with my DIY. So I'm going to tilt the camera down and I'm going to kind of get straight in and show you what I'm doing. Apologies about my hand. I'm like full of, sorry about the squeaking, it's the table leg. Right, so I've got some cardboard and firstly I'm just going to cut out a circle. So I'm just using a cereal bowl. I've got around it with a marker and I've cut it out. So... I've ended up with a circle of cardboard like that. I just used an old Amazon box. Then for the next bit, I'm going to need a circle the same size, 
but with a hole in the middle like the polo shape so I just put a candle in the centre, drew around the, cur the candle and I cut that out and then I needed another one which was slightly smaller so I just used a smaller bowl with a smaller candle in the centre and as you can see I've covered that with string so you need, I'll get rid of that now, so you need these three bits and you also, I use the inside of a cling film and I've just marked it at one centimetre but that was actually too big. So I took it down to a centimetre per slice and then I just sliced it off with my craft knife and then I've also covered them with string. Just went around and around with them. So I ended up cutting 13 of those out in total. Now the disc on the bottom, I started by covering that with this string. So I started in the centre with my hot glue gun and I just worked my way around and around and i done that on there but it took absolutely ages. So I decided to go in with this other craft string I got from the range um, and that was much quicker and as you can see it took like about a minute to do the top way it took us ages to do the bottom with a thinner string so i would recommend using the craft note i think it's nautical rope um for that so that is the circle on the bottom then i use these little rings which i cut out from the cling film wrapper and i've just gone ahead and joined them all together until I get something that looks pretty similar to this. So I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to just put a little bit of glue to the side and a little bit of glue on the bottom and hold that into position until it bonds together. It dries pretty quick this hot glue so And then I'm going to pop the last one in place here. So I'll just put a little bit of hot glue on either side. And a bit on the bottom. And pop that in place. I mean, if you wanted to make a decorative tree, you could actually do this on a larger scale. If you're going for a whole natural look in your in your living room or whatever um so there's the little basket now complete so that is going to be the base of the lantern and that's actually pretty sturdy actually now for all it's only cardboard it's um it's all held together with the hot glue so that's the base so now, like I say, I've already covered that with the, the um, string. So now I'm going to cover the bigger circle, which is going to be, it's going to sit on top of there. So I'm going to go around that with the string now. So I'm going to start off. What I did was I got four lengths of string together rather than do it individually, just so it wraps around much quicker. But you'll see it sort of comes together really quick once you start anyway. well covered I'm now going to pop that on the top there so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue get rid of all the little gluey bits at the end so it looks something similar to that Right, now I took some straws that I had. You can do it with rolled up paper, which I kind of started to do, but I didn't like how thick it turned out. And that was just a bit of A4 and that was rolled up. So I decided to go with straws. 
so I could get them thinner so I just added two straws together to get the length and covered them with the twine as well and now I'm going to just pop these on I'm going to stand them on the little plinth rope so I'll start by gluing that one on first So every two little circles, I'm kind of gluing one of the straws. And then you'll end up with something that looks similar to this. And then halfway up, I'm going to put this one. Maybe about there. I'll just let that heat up again. And then we'll go in with the smaller disc. So I've just gone ahead and glued the centre bit in place. And now I'm just holding it until it dries properly. We've got something that looks like this. There's loads of like glue sort of strings on it, which I'll have to kind of pick and cut off with a knife later on. And now we want to kind of gather this top bit in place. So I'm just going to manipulate them. I'm also going to tie them with some rope. So I'm going to kind of bend them over slightly from there. So we've got that shape. going to neaten the top off a little bit and then I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue and I'm just going to go around and around to bind it together you can still manipulate these little bars as well So now I just need to make a little loop for the top. So now I need to look for something like a bigger bit of cardboard. I'll go and try and find something. Actually, I'm just going to use some of this nautical rope to hang it. for a few seconds until it dries. I don't know how many times I've burnt my fingers today. 
kind of lost count. It's amazing what you can do with this stuff. Actually, I want to show you something else that I've done. I made this little bee skip out of the nautical rope as well and that's just a plant pot upside down and I just think it looks so cute with the bees on this wasn't my idea I actually took it from somebody else I've seen um, Claire from Polly put the petal on she made one so I copied her idea and I just thought it was super cute and I thought I would make one for the garden it just hasn't made its way out there yet so I'm just letting this dry I'm almost finished now I'm just going to put a bit of this nautical rope around the bottom to finish it off and then we are pretty much done and that just makes it look a whole lot neater around the bottom now I'm just going to pop this little flicker and candle in if I can get it through it should sit quite nicely in the center there Do you know I'm going to turn my ring light off because it is quite bright and you may be able to see it better if I can find the switch. see it very bright in there it does look really pretty though so guys that brings me to the end of my little tutorial I do hope you've enjoyed it I know it's not the neatest and if I wasn't hurrying I could have done it probably a lot neater but I'm sure you've got the gist of how to make these and they're very simple and all you really need is a pack of straws some rope from a pound land and um, you're kind of good to go Anyway, that is the end of my video. Thanks for joining us um, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.